Hey guys, in today's video, I am checking out the newly released Sigma 56mm f1.4 lens for Sony E-mount. I am super excited to check this thing out, so let's see how it comes packaged. And this is the box that it comes in. It is very compact for a Sigma DCDN lens. For comparison, I have the 30mm box right here, and then the Sigma 16mm box, which is quite a bit bigger. So let's open this thing up. Warranty card to our valued customer, an instruction manual, um, some more warranty sticker information. And this is nice, it's new. So you get uh, kind of these tabs where you can pull up and the lens is just in there, cardboard. So this lens does come with a lens hood. Uh, inside does have ridges, it's just a plastic all around. It does look like it has nice finishing on it though, so. Can't complain there. And the lens itself. This thing is tiny. Wow, it's quite a bit smaller than um, other 50 millimeter lenses from Sony. All right, so let's take the lens cap off the back. Here is the rear of the lens. Uh, you can see electronic connections. This lens does support autofocus on the Sony E-mount system. Metal mount, which is nice. Uh, around the front, huge front lens element. Look at that piece of glass, uh, looks really nice. It looks kind of like those old vintage 50 millimeter fast primes. Around the side, you have same thing, same markings, Sigma logo, um, 018, which is their um, DC line. And then minimum focusing distance is 0.5 of a meter, 1.64 feet, and then again, made in Japan. And this is part of their contemporary line. So it is a very nice looking lens. And how smooth is that? Now obviously the manual focus ring here um, is completely electronic, meaning that it's not mechanical, so it's detached from the lens, um, but it is super duper smooth. Um, I have to say that it looks very, very nice. Now just for size comparison, let me show you how big this thing is. So here are all three lenses side by side. So again, 16 millimeter, 30 millimeter, and then that 56. Very excited to put this on the camera and see what sort of images we get. So let's do that next. Here is the lens mounted on my A6000. I have to say I do like the size a lot. It's nice and compact. That front piece of glass is huge. You can see the aperture blades on the inside when I turn the camera on. They just open, turn it off, close back up. So the aperture blades are huge on this thing. Um, so this lens lets in a lot of light, obviously at f1.4. The finish looks great. It matches the a6000. It looks great on the a6500 as well. Uh, again, the focus ring, super duper smooth. Build quality and finish is top notch, as I have come to expect from the Sigma E-mount lineup. This thing is about one centimeter shorter than the Zeiss 55 f1.8 lens. So now let's move on to the most important bit, which is sample photos and videos. And spoiler alert, this lens is nothing short of remarkable. Here we go. Give me your
So all of those sample shots and videos were done on my A6500. Um, no color correction, no editing, post-processing at all. That is just straight out of the camera using this lens. And I have to say, I am very, very happy that I picked this thing up. I am going to be using this thing exclusively as my go-to portrait lens. Um, so let's talk about it a little bit. The first thing that you notice about this lens is the out of focus areas or the bokeh. It is nice and smooth and creamy. What was interesting to me was using this lens wide open in video mode. Obviously you have to make sure that your shutter speed is much faster than normal, but the result that you get is pretty amazing. The background is just completely creamy. The subject separation is excellent. You almost can't even tell where the subject is. That's how creamy that background blur is. Now let's talk about sharpness this thing is really really sharp as I've come to expect from Sigma I think that it might challenge the Sigma 16 millimeter as one of the sharpest lenses available for the Sony e-mount in my preliminary side-by-side -side testing when I shot this Sigma lens with the excellent and very well rated Sony 50 millimeter f1.8 in the center the Sigma is noticeably sharper and in the corners it is very noticeably sharper. Taking the same shot with the Zeiss 55 f1.8, which is a $1,100 lens. The Sigma keeps up in the center. I would say they're about equal. In the corners, it is slightly better than even this very expensive Zeiss lens. Now that was a very quick comparison. I will be doing more testing between these three lenses. So look out for a video comparison between these three in the near future. So let's talk about complaints with this lens. I honestly don't have any. The distortion is well controlled. The flaring also is well controlled. If you're shooting into sunlight, use the lens hood. It helps out a ton. And it's, uh, it's a nice looking lens hood as well. I think that the whole kit, nice and lightweight. The colors are excellent. And if you decide to use manual focus and use this focus ring, it is very easy to electronically rack focus from one subject to another. Uh, it's much, much better than the Sigma 30 millimeter f1.4. It's on par with the Sigma 16 millimeter as far as how it feels. As far as autofocus, it is nice and quick, perhaps not as fast as a Sony lens, but honestly for video, it's perfectly fine. I have no issues with it. And then for portraits and photos, it's nice and snappy. Now, because this lens is f1.4, it is great for low light photography. So nighttime shots, indoors with poor lighting, this lens does it all. I'm curious as to how much Zeiss would charge for a 55 millimeter f1.4 lens. I probably don't wanna know the answer to that question. So would I recommend this lens? Yes, and absolutely. This is a very easy recommendation. If you are in the market for a great portrait lens, not great, um, if you're in the market for the best portrait lens available for the Sony APS-C E-mount, buy the Sigma 56 f1.4. Um, over the Zeiss, over the Sony 50 millimeter, spend the little bit of extra money and get this thing. Uh, I do not think that you guys will be disappointed with it whatsoever. It is really an exceptional tool for those of you who are professionals and for those who are just hobbyists trying to be professional. This is one of those lenses that is similar to the Sigma 16 millimeter f1.4 in that it really revitalizes a camera lineup. I know the a6000 is a four, four and a half year old camera but when you put this Sigma 56 millimeter f1.4 on this old body, it really just changes things. Um, the shots that you get are just simply incredible. I think this Sigma 56 is the new king of portrait lenses in the Sony APS-C E-mount lineup. So if you guys are in the market, if you wanna read more about it, if you wanna buy it, as always, I will post a link to Amazon down below, so definitely check that out. Again, highly, highly recommended. Look out for more videos. I will be doing comparisons with this lens and some others, as I mentioned before. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all of your likes, comments, and support. Let me know what you guys thought about this lens down in the comments section. As always, stay tuned for more, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.